What is up guys, Alex here from Tech Labs and in that video I want to show you guys top 10 secret features that your iPhone can do. So maybe you know some of these features, maybe not, but most of these features are really really useful. I use them personally on a daily basis and I'm so happy that I know about them. So in that video I decided to share it with you, this knowledge, so you guys may enjoy all of these features on your iPhones. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. Alright, so the first feature comes really handy when typing, so whenever you're trying to do something like this, you know, when you're trying to type in letters, you have to press here and then type in letters and press uh, another time on this little icon, one, two, three, and then again and again, you know, if you want to type in letters, but here, guys, there is a simple solution for that, you don't have to do this one more time or any, any more times in your life, so it comes pretty handy, just look at that. You press on this symbol right here and then you drag your finger across this keyboard to the specific number or any symbol that you want to type. And then let it go and it's going to be there. So that's pretty simple guys. I'm going to do it one more time and you will see it. So I'm typing something with words and then I'm going to try typing letters. Alright, so here you go. That's, that's it. That's really simple, really, really easy to do and really handy. So the next trick is all about Siri. So guys, if you're a constant user of Siri, just like me, you have to have this trick enabled on your iPhone. So if you have this voice of a Siri or you don't like the pronunciation of the Siri and just you hear this voice and your eyes are just going crazy, go to the settings, then go to general, go to accessibility, speech, to voices, and if it's English, go there and make sure you click on Siri female, enhanced, this one on the bottom, because if you have this Siri female default voice, it's going to be really terrible and I just don't like it at all. So make sure you click on this one and download it for yourself. It's like 200 megabytes, but it's definitely worth it. Just believe me, it's it's much, much better than <laughs> the, was, the one that was before. Let me just show it to you. Siri, Siri tell me a story. I'm sure I've already told you. So you basically see that it's much much clearer and it's like it's it's really beautiful voice so I have no regrets about doing that and this is the trick number two. And here goes the secret number three. So this one is pretty important guys if you want to be notified who is calling before taking your phone out of your pocket make sure you follow this tutorial because right now we're gonna be assigning different vibrations to a specific contact. So let's go and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So here we have an Alex yeah and then you click edit and there if you scroll down you can see the vibration default it says default so we have a standard vibration for this specific contact but if it's your mom or somebody important to you and you don't want to miss that um, don't want to miss that call you, s you can assign a specific vibration for him for example the heartbeat a quick or rapid or you can assign a custom vibration that you can make yourself and this is also a pretty easy one you can just click there and you tap on the screen and it makes a vibration and then you say stop and then you, you can click save you can say it's for example it's Alex a vibration for Alex click save and there you have it you see you just assigned a custom vibration called Alex to the Alex performance and yes this is an important part in the iPhone so if you want to add some more performance to an iPhone it works for all of the iPhone's models but especially these um, models that are a bit older than the newest ones so like an iPhone 5 or iPhone 4s so in order to refresh RAM or make your iPhone faster you can do a simple trick like that look at that you you press this button top button and hold it until this thing comes up and then you have to press this home button and wait until this all comes off and then your RAM should be refreshed and your device should feel better and perform better um, in every aspect of that so number five guys so this one is for all the people that are getting frustrated when they see some symbols like that and so in that video in, in this specific part of the video I'm gonna show you guys how you can type in the same symbols so basically you go to any applications where you can type in any letters or symbols then you switch your keyboard to the symbols part and you can press on probably any symbol or some of the symbols and then you can get some options for a symbol for example for a currency here for a dollar we can have a euros and pounds 
and then uh, other type of currencies available for uh, for example um, quotation marks where is that or is that here we have some different types of this and yeah so there are more and more uh, that are available to you thing number six is all about iMessage and if you guys didn't know how to check the time when the message was sent or you tried to send the message you have to just go to the to the exact uh, messages in here and swipe from the right to the left and there you have the timing also if you didn't know how to delete those messages you just uh, press and hold on the message you want to delete then click more and then you can basically uh, select all of those other messages that you want to delete and then you see that trash can you just press on that trash can and delete the message and that's it number seven goes to the deleting cache from the app store and the itunes store so if you didn't know guys you can basically delete all of the cache from those two applications and any other application that work the same way so it's pretty simple you just go there to this application and you see this bottom buttons here and you click 10 times on any of them in this case i'm going to be clicking on the updates and it's going to rebuild all this cache but it's going to be a lot cleaner and it was less junk so let's get started one two three four five six seven eight eight ten and you see here guys it just rebuilt all of the cache so it's still still proceeding and yeah so it's going to be a lot cleaner guys less space taken on your iphone and it's going to be just performing better because there's not going to be any stock pages on those icons or any other incompatibility number eight is gonna be useful for all of these youtubers out there watching that video so sometimes guys you want to uh, request a desktop website for youtube but it's redire redirecting you to the normal uh, application of youtube so if you don't want to see that again uh, you just do the following so if you want to go to the dashboard you have to have it on the frequently visited websites or in here somewhere near you or in here somewhere so Make sure you're typing, for example, YouTube right now, but let's me do the opposite way. So let's go to dashboard right now. It's going to say open in YouTube. And if you click cancel, it's just not going to uh, do anything. But to go to the actual YouTube website, you just do it one more time, but with another link. And it's going to omit the same thing that you do previously. So if you go here, yeah, it's going to load up YouTube, the desktop website, and that's it. Thing number nine is pretty essential for all of you guys out there. If your iPhone gets stolen and then your password is hacked, then you're done. Yeah, your iPhone is completely gone, so don't expect it to be uh, returned uh, in any way. But here I have a simple trick that is going to protect you for the second time um, for, from those uh, stealers or any person that is trying to hack into your iPhone. So basically, you go to general and then you scroll down until you see the restrictions here and you have to enable restrictions so in that way i'm gonna just provide a simple password but later you'll be able to provide another password so uh, here you have a different restrictions different kinds of them but you make sure that you click on the uh well where is this where is this uh well here location canon there's accounts so here on accounts you click on don't allow changes and in that way nobody is able to access your iCloud or any phone app especially iCloud app because you don't want it to be accessed by any third party per people and just making changes to it so make sure you click on this so if your iPhone gets hacked and then the stealers won't be able to make any changes to your iCloud settings and finally the last one guys so this one is pretty important if you don't want to have any notification coming to your phone while you're sleeping or you're trying to fall asleep then it's really handy for you so if you go to do not disturb mode and then you can click on scheduled and this do not disturb mode allows you to hide all of these notifications while you're sleeping or while you're doing something so i clicked scheduled and right now you can see nobody is will be able to call me or send me any notifications from that time to this time. So it comes really, really handy. I've set up on every my of my devices and yeah, I just recommend it to everyone. So that actually wraps up this video. If you like that video, guys, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and that gonna bring me a huge support from you and I'm just gonna be really happy. So. Yeah, guys, that's all for today. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos if you like this one. 
And yeah, guys, so this was Alex with you from Tech Labs, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.